my name's Bronwyn. I'm a Natural Resource Management Coordinator for the dairy industry. Growing up, I was not, except for our little family holidays around Australia, I was not really exposed to what Natural Resource Management was. Um, about my only involvement was doing geography in year 12 and that really just tickled my fancy and I thought I'd like to get involved working both with people to help manage our environment better. Within the dairy industry, natural resource management is about helping farmers still remain profitable and productive farmers while also helping to protect our environment and our natural resources like water, like trees and so forth. We do that by helping farmers make better decisions so that they're more efficient in their farming operations whilst also protecting the environment. So by farmers tailoring their nutrient applications or their fertiliser applications to their pastures or to their grasses actually can prevent those nutrients entering the waterways and therefore preventing things like blue-green algae blooms in the creeks and rivers. So this is what I love about the industry, it's just working with those phenomenal people that are doing their best to be profitable business people whilst also looking after the environment. Even if farmers have had a bad day, they're still very nice to you because they can see that you're trying to help them. So I, I consider that one of the perks that you very rarely come across yucky, angry people. I think some of the other perks are that you get to drive around and look at beautiful countryside like we are today. Other perks are the flexibility. Sometimes you might be going to a night meeting. Other times you, you have to fit working with farmers between milking time. So you may not actually start to go out to a group of farmers until 10 in the morning. So you might get a little bit of a sleep in. I think what I like most about working within the dairy industry is that farmers and the industry together work together to try and get the best outcome for everyone. So that's profitable business farmers, but also a good um, outcome for the environment. And I think to me that's the core, I'm a young generation, I want to see our, our future looking like this. But I also want to make sure that our farmers are here in, in 10, 20 years time as well. I think what attracted me most about working in rural and regional Australia was I really saw um, the energy that happens in, my, in regional and um, rural areas of Australia. And in the dairy industry I see the most phenomenal people, like they're working their butts off and yet they're really nice, they really want to be part of their community, they're part of local land care groups or part of the local lions group and those small communities mean so much to the dairy industry and to me that's the real heart of Australia. I probably spend about 50% of my time in the office either um, completing funding applications or doing project management proposals or writing reports for funding bodies and so forth. The other 50% I probably spend facilitating either groups of the industry or other stakeholders together so we're all um, walking down the same path together for a project or the other time I am facilitating small groups of farmers on what we call a farm walk or a discussion group so that they can learn from each other and perhaps an expert on a particular issue and that might be better water use efficiency from their irrigation system or it might be how to fence off their creeks or it might be more appropriate fertiliser applications so that they can reduce their costs but get better outputs from pasture production. Some of the attributes that I would feel that you need to be a good natural resource management coordinator are good communication skills and particularly in that liaison area between scientists, between the business people, between the finance people and between the farmers. They all speak different languages, they all write in different ways so it's about interpreting what they want and then speaking in their language. I think some of the other key skills that you need to have is patience in dealing with those different people, they've all got different drivers behind them. So you've got to work out you know, when, when the right time is to speak to those different people and, and the, the right time of the year or the right time of the day. I think one of the other key things, attributes and skills to have in mind is business management. And that's in terms of proposal writing, getting partnerships together, so the different partners involved in a project. It's also in terms of project management. So meeting projects, meeting milestones, incorporating financial management and budgeting into, into that project management. So if I was to give you a few pieces of advice, my first one would be to look at every opportunity for experience and that can be to volunteer with your local land care group, to go out on a farm stay and help out on a dairy farm. 
I would also suggest that you um, to look up different organisations that might run courses and it can be from a short course to tertiary education. If you're seriously interested in working in the dairy industry, put your hand up to do some volunteer work or some paid work on a farm with one of the organisations, it might be a milk company or it might be one of the state farmer organisations. But those opportunities are out there so jump up and grab them. <laughs>